Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com and as today is the first Saturday of the month and in fact the first Saturday of the year I am taking part in a blog hop with my lovely friends Jez of Nigeza Creates, Jill of Paper Daisy Crafting and Verity of Inky Butterfly. We always on a Thursday share each other's projects and on the first Saturday of the month um, we create a brand new project and do a blog hop together. So once I've made my card I will write my blog and put a link to that in the description bar below so by the time you see this it will be there. Um, and our theme for this month's um, hop is celebration. So celebration kicks off on the 5th of January so just a couple of days to go and will run until the 28th of February 2021. Now I can't show you the inside of that if you're one of my customers um, you should already have received your copy. If you haven't got a copy of that or the new mini catalogue and you don't already have a stamping up demonstrator in the UK then um, please just let me know and I can pop one in the post to you. So with celebration there are two levels um, so if you spend £45 you can um, pick a product that is level one. If you spend £90 then you can either pick two level one products or you can pick one of the two level two products like this. So you get a pack of designer series paper and a stamp set for th for this particular one. There is another um, larger stamp set that is also a level two um, product. So those are the, your choices. Um, there's lots to choose from in the um, brochure. There's packs of designer series paper as well as stamp sets. Um, loads of goodies all for free. And there's no um, limit so every £45 you spend before adding postage and packaging you can claim one gift. So today I am using this designer series paper which I've already shown in a previous video um, if you want to have a look at all of the designs in the paper um, and I have used this stamp set as well and because I needed a couple of extra sentiments I've also used um, a couple of them from the Darling Donkeys set. Okay so what I'm going to make is a card that has four sections so it's a four fold card and I have done most of the prep ahead of time. I haven't actually made one of these cards yet though so um, fingers crossed all goes to, according to plan. So I've got bits of the designer series paper that I have um, already cut and I've also got um, bits where I have done the stamping as well. Um, so I will show you all of those when we go through. I'm going to start with a piece of A4 card and I'm going to cut that down to 14 and a half centimetres along the short side at the top. So I can get rid of that bit there and I'll put it somewhere else so as not to confuse myself. Okay and then now I want to do a bit of scoring. So I'm going to score this on the long side at ten and a half centimetres. Pop that out of the way and put that to the side. Um, I'll then want to score it at nineteen and a half centimetres and then at twenty eight and a half centimetres. So that just leaves a little bit 
little panel at the side there. With that little panel at the top, I want to line this up at 13 centimetres. And I'm going to cut down to the bottom score line there. So what I'm actually going to do is line up the notch on my cutting blade with that score line and then just simply slide that up there. Okay, now I actually did go a little bit too far there, but never mind. Then I'm going to bring in my snips and simply cut down that score line there. Okay. I want to fold this concertina so this one folds over this one comes back and that one goes forward okay I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit. It's not quite flush. There we go. So we've got one, two, three panels. I've also cut another piece of the same um, card. I'm using Pacific Point card for this. And I'm going to glue this piece, which measures 11 and a half centimetres by seven and a half centimetres. And I'm just going to put a bit of glue along the side there. And that is going to glue onto this skinny panel here. Now, just want to make sure that I've got that nice and straight. And then I've got this extra little bit here. So again, I'm just going to use my paper snips to cut that excess piece off. Okay. Again, didn't get that quite right. Oops, sticking to me as well. Just going to neaten that up. There we are. Okay, so we've now got a four panel card. So I'm going to decorate that. And you might notice that there's an equal gap around um, between the, the back panel and the two middle panels and then again the same gap down there um, just so that it's quite symmetrical. So lots of bits to add on. That's really the, the main bit I wanted to show you was, was really just the construction of it. Um, so I am going to glue all of these panels of designer series paper on here first of all and again all of these measurements um, will be in my blog post and in my blog you will also see the links to the other three ladies blogs as well and you can pop over there and have a look at whatever they've created with their celebration free products. So I'll continue to add on the designer series paper. You will notice that that covers up most of the join there. There's a little bit that you can still see. Um, but I think that's that's absolutely fine. 
I'll continue to add these and I'll come back to speak to you soon. Okay, so I've glued all of my designer series paper um, the, onto each of the panels. And I've also put on a piece of Whisper White card on the back there so that uh, you have somewhere to write your personalised message. Now you could glue these two bits together and then you kind of have like a book card or you can keep it like that. That's entirely up to you. So now I want to show you the stamping that I have already done and what I'm going to do with each of these pieces just to decorate the card. I'm going to put this hay friend, as I say, I've, I've completed most of those, but I just thought I would show you. Um, all I did was stamp and then cut my pieces to the desired size and then cut a coordinating piece of card, either um, Pacific Point or Granny Apple Green. And I had too much glue there. Let me just take that excess off. Um, and if it's still sticky later on, then I can come in with my glue eraser and take that off. So I'm starting with Hey Friend, which the sentiment is from the Darling Donkeys. I have stamped some of the blueberries and have fussy cut them out. Now, it's a double step stamp, so you can stamp the outline and then stamp the infill there. Um, some of them I did both with um, Pacific Point and these ones I did with Knight of Navy and then Pacific Point on the inside and the leaf Again, two step, you've got the outline and then you've got the infill there as well. And the same with that one there. And I also used some Wink of Stella on quite a few of them. Not all of them, quite a few of them. Um, just to give that extra bit of shimmer as well. And it also helps if you haven't lined it up absolutely precisely, then it helps bleed the colour um, into the bits you missed, which is good for me. I'm not the, um, the most patient of people at lining up stamps, unfortunately. Um, so I don't actually have any mini dimensionals in my beside my desk at the moment, so. I'm just going to chop up some of these ones. Okay. One there. And that one there. So a little bit extra detail, just building up those extra blueberries there. So we've got Hey Friend and then I'm going to put You're the Best in there. And 
and then I'm going to put Bountiful Blessings in there. And I can put that in the centre there because I know that it's still going to be fully covered by that panel there. So, let me get that very straight. Never mind. And then I'm going to put Wishing You the Very Best. Now this is the same width as my designer series paper. And then my final bit is you always have a way of making my day. Now you can see why I needed a couple of extra sentiments because I've used the three of them from there um, but I've got one, two, three, four, five um, little messages on there. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my card. I will list all of the products that I have used in my blog and as I say this is a blog hop so please do click on the description bar below to get a link to my blog and to hop along to Verity's, Jill and Jez's blogs as well. Lots of celebration inspiration for you. Thank you for, so much for watching. Bye.